especially in the area of COVID, budgets are being constantly reanalyzed. Um, with a tighter budget on some of the markets, how are they maintaining or even increasing their security footprint on that tighter budget? Well, and it's interesting because the question's nuanced. Not every budget's been constrained. There's there's some firms that are growing, and um, unfortunately, sometimes we're seeing where there where those growth, th those verticals in the market that are growing, they're not spending adequately on security. But then it becomes even more difficult when you've pushed your whole workforce home, you furloughed a bunch of folks, the revenues are down, and you your attack surface is bigger your security problem is bigger, but you don't have the, the revenue for it. The struggles there is a lot of those firms aren't spending money on any IT. So the normal health and hygiene um, stops. And that's really where the end of the day, I think two things stand out to me is find a way to keep up with your patch cadence, find a way to do vulnerability scanning to make sure that you don't have something in your environment that, that, um, needs to be corrected because you'll find out eventually it'll just be a bad day. And if you don't have cash to do the normal maintenance, it's going to be even more difficult to recover and restore after a, after an event. And then the second piece is training our people. And there's some, uh, you know, fairly inexpensive uh, opportunities out there. Um, I think no before provided a free service for a while, um, a, a free class for for people to train their, their work from home people, um, mm -hmm. notifications and other things from, from SANS and, and Homeland Security and things of that sort are helpful. But the, the least expensive way to make the most impact is to put some level of program together to keep your staff informed. The weakest thing in our, in our world right now is the person who's been pushed out to work from home. They're in a Microsoft 365 environment and regardless of whether the firm's growing or, or constrained in their spending, that person's not been told how to operate securely in that work from home environment. So biggest bang for the buck, security awareness training uh, can be done very inexpensively. Uh, and the, the most necessary spending is on health and hygiene, patching and vulnerability scanning.